Hey, welcome back everyone. So we are ready to craft the icy enchantment. Um, so I went ahead and gathered everything that we needed in order to do this. And now we're gonna use it. And voila, our watering can can now get rid of the green flames. Interesting, we get rid of the green flames before um, we get rid of the bones. And we get glass. Oh, nice. Okay, we've got to report back to Fairy Godmother, but might as well continue, right? I'm on a roller coaster. And there's no difference between small one or big one. It's done. No more green flames. And I actually can't say for sure if they come back. I don't think they do. I don't remember seeing any more in my Forgotten Valley on my other games. Okay, some beaded sandals. Just what I needed. You know, I don't understand why I don't just get rid of the night thorns too. I mean, I'm right here. I'm trying to go around them. Who knows what I think? Oh, ha ha ha! I'm trying to water the night thorn. Yeah, these trees are going. Bye bye, trees. Ooh, that one gave us double. Another chest. Oh, nice. Please not more footwear. Oh no, we'll just get a pink cottage dress. So you can in fact change your character's gender. Um, you can go back and forth, so you can play as both char um, both genders in this game. Going again, try to water a night thorn. Okay. Anyway, let's go report. Oh, there's more, but that's okay. Let's find out where Mother Gothel, uh, Mother Gothel, Fairy Godmother is. She's in the plaza. Eventually. Hello, my dear. 
Congratulations, child, it worked. Mm -hmm. Perhaps now no one will find the land quite so eerie, though it certainly is dark and dreary. Yep, walking there is a hazard now. What do you suggest? Mm -hmm. With some lights, paths, and seating, you'll soon, you'll see soon, it'll be cozy as can be. Now I'll just leave that to you after all. You've done a marvelous job getting the rest of the village looking tip top. Mm -hmm. Ugh, you liar. Goodbye, dear. I'm off. Merlin and I have years of missed tea time chats to catch up on. Bippity -boo. Bippity -boo. Three seatings, four outer, light lighting, and 25 path. Okay, I did plant those cottons for Scar's quest. Okay. We do have a decorating quest, for sure. I was not joking about the trees. There's this dark place at the edge of the valley. Every time I walk by, it makes me feel all sad and cold inside. Maybe we could decorate it and make it a little brighter. It's like it knows. Mm, that tree can stay. But I do need to move the bush. That stays, I can't move that. That's um, part of Mother Earth. Fairy Godmother's last quest. Okay, let's get this. This is one of my favorite seedings. Uh, there we go, that's what I wanted. Uh, but we do need three. Mm, we don't have three matching things. Okay. Well, I guess we'll use these then. I mean, it's not like they're going to stay. Okay, remember if you... Go all the way out and then back in. That one will disappear so we can move on to the next one. I think we needed four lighting. Kind of weird. No, nope, turn on. Okay, now we need pathing. Mm. 
Interesting. Let's use this. Okay, I can't go under the tree. So guess what? The tree moves. Doesn't go that far. Can I get? There we go. So it did. It just didn't want to. I don't know, it does kind of feel like more of a, like a playground vibe. Um, instead of gravel, it's like the um, pieces of wood. Even though this is straw, I don't, I don't know. Oh. And then we will put our lights in a spot that makes more sense. I guess I like this view better, the upper. There we go. What else could we add? That's, I mean, we've done what we needed to. So, that's a nice little sitting area. I don't know. All right. Fairy Godmother. Okay, you are at the plaza still. While she's here, let's talk to her. Uh, my favorite little assistant, you're just in time to hear my news about the Sunstone that you've been helping me track for some time now. After some brilliant dedications on my part, that picture you brought me back brought me back from the mystical cave showed me that what happened to the sunstone. To put it simply, it broke. I need you to find the fragments and bring them to me. Only someone with dreamlight magic at their fingertips can gather the pieces of the of the sunstone and you're so good at fetching things it really is your talent only talent you know <laughs> oh i'm all just teasing i love your jokes why are you so mean oh don't be such a baby matt i'm merely making sure you don't take yourself too seriously you really should smile more you don't want to get wrinkles do you after all your face is plain enough as it is now after the fragments each of them will appear at a specific time and place, the dawn fragment in the morning on the sun plateau, the noon fragment at midday in the glade, and the dark fragment at night in the forest. They'll glow like miniature suns on the ground, so you should find them easy. Collect them all and bring them back to me. Okay. My time, it is about 3.15 in the afternoon or evening, so I don't know what that consists of. And of course, Mother, Fairy Godmother has moved. Oh, she was up there. Oh. 
This is why I just don't talk to people. There you are. My dear, I've seen the wonderful thing you've done with the for Forgotten Lands. You're very talented, you know, and so creative. I'm sure the villagers will enjoy the Forgotten Lands as much as I do now. The work isn't done, though. There's one last thing I must show you. Something that fires threaten and that you should help keep safe. Follow me. Okay, so she's actually going to tell us about that spot of ground. There, that is what I wanted to show you. It's a, well, let's call it a miracle in progress. After all, even miracles take a little time. Yes, you see, being a fairy godparent isn't always about magic. Sometimes you must do a bit of work without the wand. And thanks to you, Matt, we now have a way to protect this from the fires. You're so welcome. Now, dear, keep in mind, as leader, you must always be this kind. One thing I can tell you, t can tell true, this is a gift for you. Well, toodle Matt. We'll meet again soon. Okay. Let's also talk to Minnie. Oh, I'm so glad you're here, Matt. I've made an interesting discovery. Since I got here, I've been very drawn to the same part of the village, the peaceful meadow. I feel like there's something calling me there. Could you help me figure it out? That's great. Of course I'll help. Thank you. The meadow always makes me happy, and it feels familiar, especially near the pond. Come with me. I'll show you. Okay. We are going to finish Scar's quest. I wasn't expecting to have to follow somebody. Oh. This place feels so familiar to me. Matt, do you see that strange thing? It's flickering in and out of reality just like you were. Was that what I looked like? Oh goodness. How did you bring me back? A device called the Murdering Light Magnifier. How interesting. Let's go ask Mickey about it. Do we have to follow her? Okay, we just gotta talk to Mickey. Alright, so we will do that after we do Scar's Quest. So I do want to talk to everyone who has a purple quest sign, um, just to get them started. Oh, my inventory, of course. And also that way, by talking to them, I can get it on screen and not mistakenly talk to somebody off the screen. I purposely want to keep the snowballs. Mm backwards this is silly anyway okay I do need to stop buying stuff because I do need to get money because I have two stalls to open up one in the forgot frosted heights and one in the forgotten land um, plus I want to upgrade all the stalls so that they're all available everything on the stalls are available I need to upgrade my house and the restaurant I don't remember if I needed four or five. Bring the materials to Mother Gotham. There you are. Happy day. Oh, hello, dear. Ah, there you are. And you have everything I asked for. Even the pair of citrons. Those are for my jewelry box. 
They're a gem net. You're a gem net. Wait, you didn't need the gems? They're just for your jewelry box? You could have just asked. <laughs> Consider it payment for my services, and let that be a lesson to you, Matt. Nothing is free. Now here is your coat, as promised. Best of luck with that infuri insufferable animal. Nice. Excuse me, I'm done talking to you. You can go too. Sorry, let's not be sassy to my characters, hey? Okay, we did that. Now it's going to tell us to go talk to Scar. Who is... Where? In his house. Okay. I do like that jacket, and I think now in the stores we'll be able to buy different colors of it. He is not here. Note to self, there is an extremely bitter lion inside this cave. <laughs> okay. Let's just hope he's outside now. Yes, he is. Okay. It's about time. Now see, that wasn't so difficult, was it? Even a warthog would have done it. I suppose I should tell you the reason for my foul mood. It's simple. I'm famished. There's scarcely any prey for me to eat in this village. Of course, I did see one of those plump, feathery neighbors of that. But I presume you'd find, mind if you would mind if I feasted on them, uh, one of them. Yes, I'd mind a lot. Well, I mind starving, Matt. A solution must be found quickly. I'm sure we'll find something. For the sake of all your villagers, I you'd better. Okay, okay. I think Remy's our best bet. The rat? That's barely an appetizer. But if you've no choice, no, no. I meant we could get Remy to help make you some food. Uh, I remember the nauseating meals he made back before the forgetting. I hope you, have, for your sake, he's improved. I'm not about above eating a rodent if I have to. I'll go talk to Remy. You just stay here and don't eat anybody. You shoo. People need to quit telling me to shoo. Okay, so I was going the wrong way. I prefer Remy to stay in his restaurant so I can actually find him. Hey. Oh, hey there, Matt. Great to see you. I hope you're here for some food because I have some fabulous things on the menu. Huh? Wait, that coat you're wearing, it reminds me of something. Someone? Mm. Oh, oh no. You want me to cook for Scar? The Harshest food critic in the entire valley. I know it's a challenge. You'd never let anyone go hungry. Huh? You're right. Not even someone who terrifies me. Usually critics don't eat the chef when they're not happy with the meal. Uh -huh. You're gonna have to help me by preparing the main course. I'm thinking fresh sushi. Sushi. It's best when it's be just been made. I'll handle the dessert. Here are the recipes to prepare. Sushi. Okay, sake maki is rice, seaweed, and salmon. And taki maki. Tuna. Soybean, seaweed, and rice. Alrighty. Um, 
I need this style open. Good day, dear. Five thousand. Okay. Pumpkins is a good sign. Um. Ooh, no, can't do it. Thank you kindly. I'm gonna quickly go open the stall to the Frosted Heights. Because I can't open a stall in the Forgotten Land when I haven't done it in the Frosted Heights. And the Frosted Heights was open first. Okay. I don't know if that helps or not, either one of those, um, but at least the stalls are opened for business. Hey, thanks for hanging out with me today. Uh, please like and subscribe, um, and we will continue on making Scar's food next time. Bye.